Homeowners and car owners hoping the large hail we saw yesterday doesn't fall again anytime soon. Many of you sharing photos and videos of the damage left behind. Insurance representatives with State Farm tell us they've already received hundreds of claims from right here in our area. KVU's Derenisha Herons live at GP1 Collision Center of Round Rock this evening, and they've been getting a lot of business today, Derenisha. Brian, the manager here tells me they've seen at least 50 badly damaged cars roll in today. Check out this one. You can see multiple dents within the hood, and this isn't the worst of it. Look at the roof. The glass is completely shattered from the hailstorm that happened yesterday, and this is what people across this area have been dealing with. It was just like little ticks at first. But all of a sudden, it was just like boom, 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 boom. Outside of his door, golf ball sized hail pouring down onto his yard. Have you ever seen anything like no, that? No, I haven't. I have not. You know, usually somebody does something like this with baseball bats, but this was hail. Aaron Spivey Sorrells said his family had just walked into their Pflugerville home before Thursday's hailstorm. The large hail knocked holes into his back windshield straight through the glass. Similar damage to this vehicle in Round Rock. And that loud boom was in Leander. When you have heavy hail like this coming down, your home is at risk too. Spivey has to get his entire roof replaced. The roofs that need to be done is more than can be done in a timely manner. It's gonna take a year and a half, likely for all these roofs to get replaced, just because of supply and demand. Ben Willows with water damage in roofing Austin said they were already slammed from the hail storm three weeks ago. This is from the, the, the storm three weeks ago. Same for local dent removal shop, Dent Works in North Austin. We've got two other guys here now and we rented another location. It's been rolling and it is, it is not gonna stop. It doesn't look like so. Thane Maddock said most customers calling today had to be referred to a collision repair shop because the damage is too severe. Thank God we got insurance. And before allowing anyone to work on your home or your vehicle, you are encouraged to call the insurance company. One, you want to make sure they are licensed. And two, you don't want to have to pay more than you have to. Back to you guys in the studio.